Let me show you how to create the snap zoom effect something like this in Premiere Pro. First of all, go to the project panel, click on this new item and create an adjustment layer. Press OK and now drop it over the clip and place it where you want to zoom in. So maybe something like over here and then we'll go to the effects panel and we'll search for the transform effect. We'll just double click it to apply it on the adjustment layer and thereafter we'll go to the effects control panel and we'll come down and you will see the transform effect right over here. So we'll click on the scale to create a keyframe right over here on this stopwatch icon and we'll move a little bit further something like this few frames further and then we'll increase the zoom something which you like and then we'll move a little bit further and then we'll reset it to 100 percent so that's also going to create a keyframe and we'll select these two keyframes by drawing a rectangle around it with the help of mouse right click and select ease in and on the first we'll click and select the ease out and now if we just play it you can see that creates uh, this zoom but we need to adjust it a little bit further so we want this to stay here for a little bit longer so we'll just copy this keyframe and we'll place it over here so now you can see it just happens this And if you want more zoom, you can increase the scale to something like this. And now if you see it, you can see this is how it looks. And you can even save this preset so that you don't have to apply it again and again. So we'll click on the transform effect, right click and click on the save preset. And then we'll click snap zoom. And that way it would be available in the effects panel. Snap zoom is right over here. So now if you just play this part from the beginning, you can see this is how it looks. Okay. And if you want to move it anywhere else, like in the beginning, so you can do that as well. And if you want, you can adjust its length as well. So if you want this to stay a little bit longer, go to the effects control and again, just increase their gap 